Well, it is the night of the Atlanta red carpet event for the movie War Room, the latest from the Kendrick Brothers in theaters on August the 28th. Priscilla Shire is joining me right here backstage after the Atlanta event. And Priscilla, it was very interesting. We had a little breaking news that Michael Jr. had actually uh, mentioned on stage. He said that there was the uh, at least an offer for a big name Hollywood actress <laughs> to, uh, to play the role of Elizabeth Jordan in the film War Room. The Kendricks chose you. Isn't that something? <laughs> I don't what know do you, how that happened. What do you think about that? <laughs> I think it's amazing. You know what? More than it doesn't really say anything about me. It says something about their integrity and their character. That more than just wanting a name that'll put people in the theater seats, they want someone who they really believe will actually carry the message of the film. And I'm praying that I can uh, do that justice and honor the Lord with the, the platform that he really has given us through this film. So it really says much more about the Kendrick brothers and their integrity and character than it does about me by far. But I hope that I did that part justice. Well, Priscilla, just a, a little bit of a biographical note. People are probably aware that you are the daughter of Dr. Tony Evans, who's heard weekday mornings on Faith Radio. And I may have asked you this a while back, but is, has it been something that has been on your heart to, to teach God's Word? Was that something? Obviously, He modeled it for you, uh, planted that seed. Yeah. Is that something you kind of always wanted to do, or did it, did it come maybe at a, another point in life? You know what? That desire did come at another point in life. It kind of surprised me. I was not planning on going into ministry, not because I had any aversion to it. I just had other plans, you know, other ambitions, things I studied in college and that I had planned to do. But the Lord began to just sort of open these little cracks, these little doors um, for me to just go and teach small Bible studies. That was when I was 20 years old. And to make a long story short, um, now these 20 years later, those invitations to do those small Bible studies just haven't ever stopped. And so this wasn't actually a plan or something that I strategized for. It's just something the Lord gave me opportunity to do and that I loved and was passionate about doing. And um, we just began to see the Lord we weaving a tapestry of the vision and the mission and purpose that he has, not only for me, but for our family as we just kind of travel together and share God's word through writing and teaching. And so it's been a gift to be able to do that. Tell me how you see this, the similarity between teaching God's word and actually acting in a film that portrays the truth mm -hmm. of God's word. Well, it's similar in ways that I, when I first, when the Kendrick Brothers first called me to ask me if I would do this film, I was like, you got to be kidding me. <laughs> this is, not, this yeah. is nowhere even close to anything uh, that I do. I stand on the stage and speak to you know hundreds or thousands of people. That is the exact opposite of what I have to do when I'm just doing a quiet scene with one other person. You know, So I, I didn't even know if I was skilled enough to do it, um, that I'd be able to, to have. Can I just tell you, by the way, that I have such newfound respect for actors and actresses that they're able to pull this off on a regular basis. Um, but I just just see the similarities in that no matter the way that you are giving the message, the message still remains the same. And so, uh, you know, the, the story of Elizabeth Jordan is the story of so many women that I know are sitting in the audience when I'm speaking and challenging and encouraging them or that are doing a Bible study or reading a book that I may have had the opportunity to write. And so now I've just put myself in their shoes in this film and said, you know what, let me show you how through the brilliant writing of the Kendrick Brothers. Let me show you how you can implement some of these things that you've been reading in these books all along. Here's how you can see it really transform your faith and your family. You mentioned that you really sense that you're called to carry the message of the film and you want to do that well. And obviously you've been doing interviews, you've been speaking on behalf of the film, you've written the book Fervent, so you're, you're walking in that call. How would you summarize the, the message or messages of the film that you really, really want people to grasp? Yes. The message of the movie is that there is an enemy who is behind the scenes of life's most pressing problems. And, and one, of the, one of the things that the enemy does best is that he shifts our attention away from him and onto that person or that problem or that issue. So what we do is we start assaulting that person or that problem or that issue with our frustration and with our words or with earthly solutions that really aren't going to have any um, impactful shift on that particular situation. So what this movie does is it lifts the veil from your eyes so that you can be reminded that there is an enemy who is scheming against you. And then the message of this movie is that you will be called 
to pray to a weapon that actually works against a very real invisible enemy. Final question, how did you see God work in your life? How did you grow spiritually as a result of being part of War Room? Well, I've always believed in the being consistent in my prayer life. I sure haven't been perfect at that, but consistency has been a goal. But now strategy is a goal, not just to be consistent in prayer, but to be strategic in it. Where do I see the enemy at work or where do I anticipate that he may want to hit my family or my own heart and mind hard? Well, let me be proactive and strategic in my prayer life so that I can cut him off at the pass before he gets a foot in the door. Priscilla Shire joining us here backstage after the Atlanta red carpet event for War Room. Priscilla, appreciate your ministry. Phenomenal job in War Room. Thank you so much for spending for some time me. with us. Thanks so much.